check out a new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Filler One Boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back, good fellow sports TV, and um, Javante Tank Davis tries to put Shakur Stevenson in his place and says, "Stop calling me out," and the rest of you babies too. So he pretty much saying that they babies and they kids and they little snotty nose punks. And Shakur Stevenson, you know, also rebuttals and says, or he tells uh, Tank on Twitter that my last three opponents are my last opponent in uh, Christopher Diaz is better than your last three opponents versus Jesus Clayar. Forsaka before that, and then now Hugo Ruiz. And um, that's probably a fact. We back. Good for Sports TV. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the videos. Best way to help out. And um, you're right. Tank Davis is acting like this dude is uh, moving at this uh, light speed type of pace. And he's moving like a baby himself. He, I can't believe he called Shakira baby. And the way he getting moved and the way he taking baby steps. You about to fight old ass Gamboa. And if you fight Gamboa and Hugo Ruiz, and then before that, it was uh, uh, Clayar, and then before that, it was uh, Forsaka. Uh, Stevenson could beat all of them right now. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. You know, he trying to act like, he act like he, Javante Tank Davis act like he on this pedestal. And it wasn't like Stevenson disrespecting him. He gave him his props. He gave him like, yeah, he was a really good, uh, good fighter. I look at Tank as a top dog, and that's what I'm shooting for. You know, he aiming to fight Tank. What's wrong with that? And Tank takes everything that disrespect. Oh, don't call me out. And woo -woo. I mean, shit, man, you a, you a prospect with a belt. Real talk. Javante Tank Davis is a prospect with a belt that's trying to fight as many Hispanic fighters as possible to boost his name up. He's trying to take the Floyd Mayweather route, but that ain't going to work for him. You know, at the end of the day, you got to fight names. And the way he moving, he moving like a baby. You know what I'm saying? Tommy Pickles looking ass. You know, talking about, oh, Shakira Stevenson is moving in the rest of these. But what about you, bro? We talk about Tevin Farmer, but you on the same pace as Tevin Farmer. You just look, you just passed the eye test better than Tevin Farmer. You know, and it's funny how he think he on this pedestal and he better than, than Stevenson. He better than Devin Haney. Before you know it, they, I mean, Stevenson already fighting competition level. That's better than his last three. Before you know it, Devin Haney would be a world champion if he can beat Luke Campbell and get that fight if he signed with Eddie Hearn. You know, before you know it, Stevenson gonna be a two-time, two time two uh, two weight class title holder, and and all you gonna all you can on be holding on is probably beating up on Santa Cruz, who was what a bantamweight or whatever like that, beating up on smaller guys. Javante Tank Davis is yet to fight a real one thirty pounder other than Pedraza. He living off the Pedraza fight. Stevenson ain't gonna be living off the Diaz fight for too much longer. They gonna start feeding him. He gonna get a couple, two or three fights in there. Before you know it, you know, he going to have more fights than Tank. He going to try to get on probably capture a title and then move up to 130 and try to do the same. Tank is just, Tank is just, his own, his arrogance is going to be his downfall. The way they moving it, it, him is going to be his downfall. You know what I'm saying? He moving at, at a grandma pace, you know, driving his daisy ass. But he act like he just on this whole nother planet. Oh, man. You and Shakira Stevenson really on the same fucking planet. You got you might have won two world titles, but your real your two world titles wasn't real. Well, Pedraza was real. I'll give him that. Pedraza was real. But your second one, you supposed to be the record WA champ. If your boss didn't pay to get Machado downgraded and you upgraded, you 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 wouldn't even be a real title holder. You would be a, a paper champion. Really, in my in my opinion, you a paper champion. You've been at 130 your whole career. Miss Wade. All this other shit. Having unified. You just became a main event. Haney, Secure, Lopez, a lot of them ain't too far behind Javante Tank Davis, man. They not. They not. You know, but he trying to act like like he at the big kid table. Like he out here just smashing through the competition. Like he unifying titles and, and all this other stuff. Nah, dude, you at the little nigga table too, man. You might be at the big kid's table. You know what I'm saying? Before you know it, Shakir Stevens is going to be sitting at the same table with you. Devin Haney sitting at the same table with you, then they're going to have an opportunity to make more money than you because they taller and longer. They're going to be able to go up behind beyond 135. You, you may not be going, your self life is short because you little dude, little short stubby dude. You might go to 140, and that's a, and that's a big, big if. 
That's a big, big if. You might be able to go to 140. You know, but it is what it is, man. You know, he's trying to act like he's so much better than Stevenson. Stevenson didn't disrespect him. But obviously, Steven felt like he can beat him. And he, he's supposed to feel like that. And I think Stevenson going to have a better career. Probably. Tank got all the ability to be great, but he's an idiot. Shakir Stevenson going to learn from that incident in Miami if he don't get no time. He going to learn from that incident and all that. He going to learn from it. Tank, in trouble, in trouble, in trouble. Hanging around A.B. You see, Stevenson was hanging around A.B. And Andre Ward and James Prince probably pulled him like, hey, don't do that. Stop hanging around that dumb nigga. You know? But, like I said before, it is what it is, man. I just don't understand why, why Tank think he on this pedestal. He living in his own Twitter universe. Like, dude, you ain't that. You Your last three opponents not better than who Stevenson just beat. And that's a shame. That a prospect with 10 fights is fighting, a better, fighting better competition than you fighting in 20-some fights. You know, he get mad. He gets sensitive when anybody says his name. And the dude didn't disrespect him at all. He didn't disrespect him at all. He said, you know, that's who I'm shooting for. That's my goal. Tank the top dog at 130. And, and that's who I want to go for. That's my goal. That's my intermediate goal. And I'm a long time, long time, but intermediate, I'll be up there. I get a title and I'll be up there to fight him. That's who I want to fight. Tank Davis acting like, oh man, you know, uh, you know, he acting like he said, yeah, Davis ain't shit. You know, he a bum. You know, under Mayweather Titty and shit. I beat the shit out of him. He didn't say nothing like that. He showed him a lot of respect. You know, he showed him respect that his champion, his champ paper champion now shouldn't shouldn't get. And you want to know why all these dudes calling you out? Ryan Garcia, Shakira Stevenson, and the rest of the gang calling you out because they don't respect you like an OG. You moving like a, the little last OG. You moving like you moving like a little dude. You moving like a punk. That's why they keep calling you out, pulling your whole card. You ain't fighting nobody, bro. In real talk, a lot of people feel like you regressed under Mayweather promotions. Like Charlos told him. Like this dude with Mayweather still ain't fighting nobody. You know what I'm saying? So you need to change the way you approach the game. You need to change your opponent level because they're not respecting you. They're not respecting you. And why would they respect you? Real talk. Why would they respect you? You know? Why would they respect you? The way you moving, the way you talking, you not active, you not fighting nobody. Virtually, you, Ryan Garcia, and Stevenson all fighting the same level of opponents. You know? So do something for the, where they respect you. They, they look at you as an equal. They look at you as a prospect with a belt. They look at you as a come up. This ain't no game. They feel like it can beat you. You know, you need to look at what you do wrong. Why they calling you out? Why they don't respect you like the boogeyman, PBC, and Mayweather Promotions make you out to be? That's what you got to ask yourself. That's what you got to ask yourself. Why they keep pulling my whole card? Because you're inactive. You're not disciplined outside the ring. And they know. I could take Geronte Tank Davis past six, past five or six rounds. I could draw him. All he do is fight featherweights anyway. All he do is fight uh, 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 super bantamweights anyway. If I could fight him and I got size and I got athletic ability and I could just, you know, box him for, you know, five or six rounds and then take him out and drown him, drown him in the pool pit. I can beat him. But if you go out there and you beat up a chat, you beat up Ito, you beat up Farmer Unified Division, you can do a spectacular and prove that you can be that guy. You know, a lot of people gonna a lot of people they ain't gonna call you out no more. They call you out because they think you're sweet, young buck. They see you as an equal. They look at you as a baby too. Babe, this is my perspective on it, man. Good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Let me know what y'all think about this Tank Secure Stevenson thing. We can check out their Twitter, man. I ain't doing all that copy and paste and shit this is today, man. But, yeah, we working early, man, knocking these videos out. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email as well. If you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request, um, continue to share the videos. It's the best way to help out. I will be updating the Patreon real soon. So, join the Patreon gang, gang. Link in the description. You got the food for thought. Uh, the hood series tier, and then also you got the boxing tier for hardcore boxing fans. In addition to that, 
Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hill Blaze, TheHillBlaze.com. Promo code GoodfellowUnboxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. From lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair part made, much, much more. Website, promo code, description, and we give away free stuff today. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, so you won't miss that live stream. We give away free stuff. One time for the one time we don't.